Hello everyone, today in this video we will be learning about the super important definitions which are uh, expected from the exam point of view uh, based on the previous papers and if you watch this video till the end you need not go through this document also because I will be telling you the way you need to remember these um, uh, definitions and this video will be of 10 minutes so I will be going through it very quickly and that's how you remember uh, most of the algorithm so uh, make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started the first is what is big data big data is nothing but you will be having high volume of data high velocity of data in which the data is getting generated and it will be of, of uh, high variety means different kinds of data will be there that is what is called big data okay and the characteristic also the same volume velocity and variety what is cloud computing it is a computing with in which the storage is uh, stored in a remote location distributed uh, computing means you will be having large data sets which are distributed at many locations grid computing is also same but it will be uh, much more powerful and it will be tightly coupled and cluster computing will be having separate clusters of computers for doing separate tasks Whereas volunteer computing is there uh, where the computers will be given as the uh, volunteers for the providing of the resources. Okay. Then we have the file layers in the data architecture. See basically what happens in the initial parts of the data. Uh, you will be getting the data. You will be uh, cleaning the data. Then you will be uh, storing the data somewhere. You will be processing it. Then you will be uh, applying the data. Means using it for application. Those are the file layers of data architecture. And the different types of data if they ask you have to write structured, semi-structured, uh, unstructured and multi-structured data. How do you do the data processing? Data processing is done by uh, removing the unwanted data. You can either remove the outliers, redundant values, irrelevant values. After you have removed that you can do the data cleaning enrichment means adding new features to it editing means making it more relevant analysis and transforming the data into better purpose next we have the berkeley data analysis stack which is bdas here we have the three main things as in the everything we have data storage processing and the application these are the three things you have to keep in mind first you will have the data you will process it then you will be using it for application just the examples also you have to write along with that where are big data uh, getting used what are the applications of big data it is used in marketing and sales and detection of marketing frauds credit card risks and coming to the healthcare sector you will have in medicine as well as healthcare coming to financial sector you will be having in the finances and the banking also you will be having in the advertising sector moving on to module 2 we have the first question what is Hadoop uh, core company the diagram you remember in the architecture video I had discussed uh, in uh, middle part you will be having common libraries then you will be having HDFS storage will be storing the data to process the data you will be having the yarn where you can uh, schedule the data and map reduce is for making it more efficient then we have the different types of nodes which is the in the Hadoop architecture which is the client node which sends the request to the name node and name node handles the slave nodes then we have the HDFS commands you have to make a directory put something into a directory list the directory names and copy the directory these are the four commands have to write with example what is mapper reducer aggregating and querying mapper means it maps some key to the value reducer means it reduces to some specific uh, uh, storage and aggregating means you'll be using some function like min max count and all and querying means you are finding out some data what is Hadoop Yarn? It is a resource negotiator or it's a resource manager and this is for 12 marks. Have a look. Uh, what is HDFS block replication? You'll be having one block, you'll be replicating it to different parts of the system so that if one node fails, you'll have the another one. Safe mode means you cannot uh, read it, uh, you cannot uh, do any changes or replicate it, only you can read the data. Rack awareness means you're having a knowledge of what all is in the rack, how it is structured. Name node availability means name node will be available in many places of the system. Okay. So once you go through it, you'll get to know the key points or else you can write no onwards. Next, we have the Hadoop ecosystem tools. Here we have the total 12 tools. If they ask for eight marks, you have to write at least eight ones. Okay, so how do you remember this one is? Start from here. Hive means what? It's a uh, like a B structure, right? B hive will be there like that. It is data warehouse system. Pig means data flow languages. Pigs will be flowing in some gutter, right? And Mahout is the machine learning. M4 Mahout, M4 machine learning. These three you got. Then scoop and flume data transfer and large data transfer. Uzi is for coordinator. And zookeeper, what does zookeeper do? It coordinates the services in the zoo and avro is for data serialization okay like other ones if you can remember you can remember all this much is sufficient for you moving on to module 3 we have what is no asset properties asset properties means atomicity consistency isolation and durability capture means consistency availability and partition and what is no sql it's a new form of sql where no st uh, single structured language will be there it will, there will be many type of languages uh, present it's accepted for all and it's most flexible what are the different types of no, arch uh, no sql architecture data pattern you have to know in uh, depth for each of these so make sure watch the theory video as well key value store you have key as and the values document store can be of the form csv just an exam uh, xml you have to learn with these examples tabular data can contain column 
big table rc means row column orc means optimized row column paracute means the tiles format you will hang data in the time, uh, form of tiles then we have the object and graph database what is sn architecture shade nothing architecture what does that mean it has it has four features there is no sharing in that so it is independent self healing means if one uh, goes away it is independent it will heal on, uh, heal on itself shard means a very large data will be divided into small small parts called as shards no network contention means it will have no uh, network connections uh, with the other nodes again yeah. what are the four distribution models there you have single server sharding a very large database master slave and peer to peer distribution what is mongo and cassandra db mongo db is and cassandra db is both same things here in mongo db we will be using open source uh, dbms to create and, and analyze the uh, databases and manage these things and get the data and all and for cassandra db also you will do the same thing just the difference is that you will be using column family database again okay. What is the document store? Coming to the module four, document store is the important question. Here we will be having the different types of documents in a single store. That is called as document store. Tuple means rows. Collection means a well-defined collection of dif uh, different objects. Aggregate means applying a function to group it into the one entity. Aggregation function can be many, like uh, count, sum, maximum, minimum, and all. Okay. For uh, doing the aggregation, we need aggregation function. Then we have sequence. Sequence means in a single uh, line, we'll be having many different uh, entities and the similar sets. That is called as sequence. Okay. Yeah, like the order and all then we have the document document means it's a, a thing which is uh, having some kind of information uh, like uh, for a specific uh, database natural join means if you have two tables which are similar uh, uh, columns either you will join those two tables for the uh, single table and the column uh, which is common will be in middle okay and map reduce is very important from exam point of view and you need to know these uh, concepts very well map task means mapping from key to value the reducing means you're reducing the huge input to the smaller input by using some uh, functions input split and mapper is the function that performs the mapping operation input sl uh, split means you have the input you're splitting the input record reader means after you split the input you'll read each record okay that is called as record reader and grouping the similar ones shuffling means you'll be shuffling them into the different uh, columns and the different uh, data tables and then sorting and part the, when you have shuffled them you'll be having the different partitions sorting them means in the alphabet order you'll be sorting or else in the form of increasing uh, frequency and combiner means after you have done all that you'll be combining them and storing it one place okay that is the output that's uh, that's what the steps you have to start from the input till the output for the map reduce for that we'll be using some functions such as counting and summing sorting finding the distinct value collating and filtering or parsing distributed task execution will be having different tasks you'll be executing it and processing using iterative message passing cross correlation matrix vector multiplication what is hive and what is pick both are same it's just used for the data flow language and managing of the resources and the workflows and you'll be having some tools here like specific tools all you need to know is about the uh, workflow of it and the architecture the architecture just um, can watch the, watch the architecture video in the workflow both are similar you'll be having some query you will be doing the parsing compiling and uh, processing it and for the execution engine you will send it and then you will do the map reduce processing both has the same thing just a slight difference are there you can watch the architecture video in that i have explained the slight differences going on to the module 5 what we have is the linear and non-linear relationship linear means just linear non-linear means it's not dependent upon uh, one factor okay outliers is the values which is uh, not in uh, corresponding to the normal data it is having some extreme values variance means how is the way, uh, data getting altered okay and standard deviation means how is the data deviated from the midpoint and error means what is the error in that kernel function is a function which is a part of a central function ANOVA is nothing but analysis of variances how the variances are analyzed okay if the data is very differently but still there is less variance in that we'll be uh, finding out using the ANOVA all you have to write it analyzing the variances is called uh, ANOVA okay what is correlation indicators the, in, the things which indicate what is the correlation between two things is called uh, correlation like uh, for example temperature and humidity if temperature rises humidity will be rising okay that is called as correlation regression means studying the relationship between two variables what is jacquard similarity we'll be using this formula a intersection b divided by a in union b that is called as jacquard uh, between uh, a and b we are just finding a similarity between them okay and we'll be using the cosine also uh, the distance by using this formula uh, for finding the similarities between them what is a priori algorithm finding out the similarities between the uh, sets and taking them into a single set consideration that is called as a priori algorithm both numerical and 
the algorithm is super important from exam point of view text mining means you'll be having a text you're mining some important information that is called text mining and the five phases of text mining is nothing but pre processing the data then feature selection feature generation then you are doing the data mining stuff on that then analyzing the results how it is better for the web mining we have three categories web content web structure and web usage in web content we'll be having what content you have in the web you are uh, making patterns from that web structure means how it is structured first uh, links you have then you have the images audios and videos all those kind of structure you'll be analyzing and web usage means how uh, often you are visiting the web okay then we have what is hubs and authorities hubs are nothing but the web pages and authorities means to which web page you are going and page rank means which is the best page you'll be uh, going for that so that's all make sure you like button subscribe to my channel for more like this i'll see you in the next time